Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Watamad and welcome to another video here at Madodo's channel. For today's video, we are here somewhere in Pateros for us to update you on the growth of our one of our systems here in Pateros. A viewer requested that we update you on the on the system, so we are here to give you a walkthrough of uh, of our system. The system is almost one month old, so this is around three weeks old. So to give you an overview of where we are, we are in a rooftop in Pateros in the middle of the city. So let's look at a view of the rooftop, from the rooftop. So this is a view of the Pateros River and that is a view of SM Ora. So that's BGC over there and this is uh, Pasig. So we are right in the middle of the city. Because we are in the rooftop, the temperature here is a little bit high. The temperature ranges from 31 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. So to protect our plants, the owner decided to install a shelter. So this shelter or this dead shelter uh, shelters the system from rain and from sunlight. So it also has a net siding to prevent insects or pests from entering the shelter. It, it also has a polycarbonate rooftop and a shaded rooftop for the fish tank and the filter. It's also vented on top, so the vent serves as a release of the excess heat inside the shelter. Uh, because uh, the temperature is, exceeds 30 degrees Celsius, we also added, or in the future, we will add a shade netting. So the shade netting will be retractable uh, so during the summer where the heat is intense, you can deploy the shade and during the rainy season where sunlight is or the exposure to sunlight is lesser, we can retract the shade net to provide more sunlight for our plants. So let's enter our system and let's start our walkthrough. Let me open the net. So to start, to start our walkthrough of the system, let's start at our fish tank. So as you can see, the water now is very clear. Let's zoom in on the fish tank. So you can now see the 100 red tilapia growing in there. So the red tilapia, when we, when we first added it to the system, we're just around uh, 10 cm, okay? Oh, sorry, 10 millimeters or 1 cm, okay? So after three weeks, they are already uh, at around 5 to 7 cm. So the secret to growing faster fish is providing them with clean water. If you provide your fish with clean water, as you can see here, they feed more, okay? So when they feed more, they grow faster. So as to, uh, let's zoom in on the solid lifting outlet. So the solid lift, solid lifting outlet is curved. So because our tank or this 1,000 liter, 1,200 liter tank is conical bottom, the all the waste from the fish will collect in the center, and then our solid lifting outlet will suck in this the this waste from the bottom and deliver it to our radial flow filter. Okay, so let me set this aside first. Okay, so the solid lifting, from the solid lifting outlet, it enters our main DuraFlow Mini. So this is called the main DuraFlow Mini because it has a dual radial stage. So this is the first radial stage. So from the fish tank, it enters the radial stage here in the center. You can see there are uh, snail or kuhol in Tagalog, kuhol eggs already collecting on the side of our radial flow. So the kohol is part of the ecosystem. The kohol will eat the undigested uh, fish solids and also the uneaten fish feeds and further uh, process it so that our biological stage will have an easier time processing the nutrients. Okay, and then from the radial flow part, it enters a static bed over here. So this is the static bed part. So in the static bed part, when it gets uh, so so in the static get bed part, when it gets clogged with waste, it's very easy to maintain and clean. We have a maintenance valve here. We just shut off the moving bed 
uh, aeration and then you open this one so because the media is already mature it's easier to bubble or it's easier to agitate by agitating our static uh, bed you knock off the sludge and after a, a few minutes maybe 5 to 10 minutes you turn it off and then you drain it at the bottom so this is the drain at the bottom so this drain uh, serves as our maintenance drain you can collect the sludge and feed it to your gar soil based garden or you can remineralize the sludge and decant the water and whatever settles you can feed back to your vermicast and, or your soil based garden and the water you return back to your fish tank okay so let's turn on the moving bed part again so in the moving bed part, as you can see, the media is nice and mature already. So it only took around three weeks to fully mature the media. By, uh, by mixing old media and new media, the cycling time is faster. So as the moving bed bubbles, each uh, media pellet will hit one another. So by doing that action, the old bacteria gets knocked off and the new the surface area that's revealed will promote the growth of younger and new bacteria so with the, the promotion of good bacteria you increase the efficiency of converting the ammonia into nitrates so when the ammonia gets converted into nitrates it now overflows to our gravel bed over here so follow me to the gravel bed so we have two mirror image gravel beds over here uh, the plants here are tomatoes, so this is just three weeks old from seed. Uh, we have some basil, sweet basil. We have some curly leaf lettuce. We have some pet chai. Uh, we have some okra over here. Uh, and over here, uh, some romaine lettuce seedlings. And on the other side, we, ha we have the same plants or the same seedlings on the other side. So the okra there are bigger than here almost the same size we also have pet chai lettuce okay then from the gravel bed it has a bell siphon over here okay so let's go to the bell siphon so the bell siphon is flooding and draining draining nicely it's a very basic design there's a standpipe this is the bell you put the bell on top of the standpipe and then you close the lid okay let me close the lid first okay and then it exits our floating raft over here so this is the exit of the bell siphon in the floating raft we have uh, lettuce okay so this is lolo rosa this is the red or purple uh, vari variety of lettuce okay we also have uh, romaine uh, this is a miniature romaine variety it thrives on the lowland and hot areas okay so as you can see the roots are very clean so these are two to three weeks old and this is lolo bionda or the green uh, type or curly leaf lettuce okay so we also have a, a tomato here and then we have a basil here so this system is still three weeks old so some are still yellow but as, as we as the system matures you convert more ammonia into nitrates and remineralize uh, nutrients or more nutrients in the system the, uh, the plants uh, will absorb more nutrients and grow better okay so then it will overflow to this next uh, floating raft over here so the tomato here is bigger than the tomato there no so this tomato you can remove because they are on uh, rafts you can remove see how large the root system is you can remove and transfer to another raft if it gets uh, big or you can add a trellis you connect it on the roof and let the tomato vine climb up the rope or the, te the trellis okay so this floating raft is the mirror image of uh, the floating raft beside it okay and then from this floating raft it will exit this floating raft over here okay 
So let's go to this floating raft. Again, to provide dissolved oxygen to the roots of the plants, we have air stones, okay? Uh, let's replace our styrofoam raft back. Then from this floating raft, it exits our pump over here. So let's look at our pump. Okay, so once in a while, we clean our pumps because we don't want this uh, string al algae to cover the strainer of our pumps. So it's a very easy step. Remove the strainer. You give it a rinse outside your uh, grow bed. You give it a tap and then you place it back. So that's how easy the maintenance of our pump is. So this pump is very small. This is around, let's, let me see. This is 55 watts, no? So let's let the water settle so you can read the rating. So that's only 55 watts and it can power a very huge system. So this is an eight grow bed system. Then from the pump, it goes back to the fish tank over there. So let's fo then follow me to the fish tank. So this is the inlet of our fish tank over here. So from the pump, it enters here, and then the cycle continues. Now to provide us data so we can do manipulations or do uh, maintenance of the system, we provided them with a sensor, a digital sensor over here. So zoom in on the sensor so you can read the uh, reading. So let's change this to parts per million. Okay, so the TDS is 135 parts per million. The pH is still high at 8.46, but we expect this from a new system. As the nitrification happens, it will go down to 6.8, even 6.5. Then you need to buffer it up, okay? The temperature, as I said earlier, is 32.3 degrees Celsius, so that's hot for tilapia or and the plants. So to prevent uh, the tilapia from getting stressed or from the plants uh, from wilting from the sun, we, we will add a net, sh net shade or a retractable net shade here in the future. We also have a large compressor to provide dissolved oxygen all throughout the system, okay? So to recap, from our fish tank, it will go to our floating, uh, to our filter, DuraFlow Mini, and from the DuraFlow Mini, it will go to the gravel bed, and then from the gravel bed, it will go to our floating rafts, and then from the floating rafts, it will go to the pump. And then from the pump, it will go back to the fish tank. So that's the basic flow of this eight row bed system and an update on how, how, it, how the growth is at three weeks or almost a month, okay? So as you can see, the, the plants are thriving with, the, with, the, with minimal work. No? All the farmer has to do here is just feed your fish. With a well-designed system like this one, all you have to do is to feed your fish and let the filter, let the grow beds do the work for you. If you want to learn more about aquaponics, don't forget to like, share, subscribe the Madodo channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you, you will get updates on our future videos. Okay, we also have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics, if you want to contact uh, us and ask us questions about aquaponics. We also try to conduct seminars in all the places we've built or all the systems we've built so you can see the, the different, different types of systems we have done in the, in the past, okay? So again, uh, thank you for watching.